This is Jelly Beans. It's a diatonic quantizing arpeggiator for the Electrosmith Daisy Patch platform. It's great for creating quasi-chord progressions in modular, since sound sources are typically monophonic. It's also good for bass lines. Jelly Beans keeps an internal scale. You can select any diatonic scale within the scrollable menu. When you send it a note, Jelly Beans will quantize that note and begin to arpeggiate the corresponding chord within its scale. There are a myriad of options for the arpeggiator. You can select chord voicing, everything from a basic triad to a jazzy 13th chord. Chords can also be inverted, transposed, and arpeggiated in a number of different patterns and rhythms. It also sends the current chord's root note through CV out too, which can be used for bass, drums, pads, and the like. Jelly Beans can act as its own clock or detect BPM from an external source through gate in one. Alternatively, it can also play a note per trigger if you'd like to sequence rhythm with something else. Jelly Beans is under active development. There are still some small bugs to be fixed and lots of new features I have planned. If you'd like to try it out or check out the open source code, there's a link for you in the description. The rest of this video will be an in-depth walkthrough of the features. So if you just wanted to see what this was about, you don't need to stick around. For starters, Jelly Beans is currently taking tempo through the gate in one input. It's detecting BPM this way, they're quarter notes. Pattern changes the order that the arpeggiator plays notes in. Voicing changes the type of chord that's being played. The little plus icon means that a high octave is being played above the chord. Each level of inversion will take the lowest note of the chord and bring it up by an octave. Clock division changes the speed that the notes are played at. It can go as fast as 1 128th or as slow as one note per 128 bars. Root changes the root of the current scale. And mode changes its mode. When a cable is plugged into gate in one, Jelly Beans will detect tempo via quarter note pulses. This will override any BPM value that's set in the menu. If you change clock mode to per trig, it will instead play one note per external trigger. This is useful for more responsive behavior or using an external rhythm sequencer. If you remove the cable from gate in one in BPM mode, it'll act as a standalone clock and you can set BPM through the menu.
Note in display is the current note that's being played through control 4. You could also use the control 4 knob to change this. CV out 2 will play the root note of the current chord. This is useful for bass, pads, drones, that sort of thing. There are also trim values. You can trim the incoming note by plus or minus 12 semitones, and you can trim outbound CV for bass and arpeggiator separately by 100 cents. Thanks for watching. The link to the GitHub repo is in the description below. There you can find source code and instructions on how to download and build this.